welcome back. We are now clean. I'm going to try to be loud because it's windy out here. Now I'm just going to go around and hit some of these spots that have a little bit of rust. With some sandpaper and then we'll wipe it all back down and we can get the paint. So we'll just get to the sand. out doing some stretching. She's been inside all day. We're gonna continue painting. Well, we got most of the frame painted, um, but we did not get this front. Uh, this has just got a little bit more rust than I could sand off. You can see I've got most of the paint off. So I'm just going to treat most of this rust. Just the rest of the frame actually look good. All the rust seems to come off of it. Um, it's mainly just these end pieces that weren't painted to begin with. So I'm going to treat them with some rust-oleum and then we'll get that clean once it's done doing its magic and we'll get this painted as well. Well, welcome back. Uh, we have started to reassemble the police car frame. Um, I'll just kind of show you what I've done so far. Um, we put this front suspension back on. It has a loop here and there's a peg that it fits over the top of. Um, and then we have two washers, one on the bottom of this one, one on the bottom of this side. We just cleaned those up and put them back on. Cotter pin on the top of each side. And then underneath you can see there's a washer on here, and then a cotter pin that holds that together. And then it should turn like so. So our next step is getting the back back together. I have the axle, the motor. We're gonna get those mounted on and get it lined up so that this gear is facing the gear on the motor. And then we should be able to throw some wheels on it after that. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Um, if you haven't yet, like, comment, um, let us know how we're doing and definitely thanks for watching awesome so the first thing we're going to do is get the motor mounted i cleaned up all the washers and bolts i did buy some new nylon nuts um, at the ace um, which is my favorite place uh anyway uh so we'll get the motor mounted and then we'll get the back axle put into place after that back so before I get the motor totally uh, tightened down what I'm gonna do is put on these brackets and the reason I'm gonna do that is they are about the same width as these pieces and so that's gonna give us a pretty good centering point once we have these into place we will know where the axle is gonna center underneath which we're gonna try to hit for right here at this point and then we can get the axle through because it's going to go through this hole right here and then come out the other side through this bracket and that gear is going to line up with this little gear right here and then this piece has another bracket on it which is going to fit onto this side
welcome back. So we pretty much have this side lined out. So this piece is going to go all the way through this bracket and the piece on here and then out this side. Um, we'll worry about adjusting the motor once we get this side lined up. Welcome back, we had to do some adjustments. I moved this in a little bit from where I had it the first time, um, but I'm about the same width as far as the spacing on the back on both sides. Nice. Well, y'all can see that. Um, and then if you look here, I've got the motor adjusting so that the gears are lining up. So now I need to put the cover on on this side um, and then that whole back section will pretty much just in it. Have some spots I make here and there on the paint I might be uh, going to touch up to. So not too bad though. Anyways, we'll keep continuing getting her back together. Welcome back. It is coming back together. I had to take this screw out and I actually stacked a couple of lock washers and tightened them and then squeezed them together so that they would line up um, with the stir vice grip here. Um, but that way that screw is not close to that gear. I checked the bottom screw that I put in there and it is way far off from the gear so that should be able to spin putting that plastic spacer in between this wheel is going to keep that tight so that um, the gear is not sliding off of the other gear and they stay lined up really well so because they're lined up pretty well right now I know it's really hard to see so um, but now I have the wiring harness up and I'm going to get this ready to go back on plastic pedal ready to go back on and then we can start wiring it so but i hope you've enjoyed the video so far thanks so much for tuning in we're gonna keep working on it come back thought i'd show you guys some of the different types of rims that went on these cars um here are some old school uh these are all came off prestige mini motors young masters they had different ones for different styles this is the old school mercedes rims i'm gonna save these for another project i have these newer ones uh newer looking ones and these ones are the ones we're probably actually going to use on our police car project um these ones actually went on the volkswagen there's are some that had volkswagen emblems on them i only ever had two never had a full set and i put them on miss bluesy um our volkswagen project these are rare ones that came on the sports car models these were ones uh i actually used on miss jesse when we made our rat rod another sports car model that came out um, these were really cool pretty rare ones these were just cheap plastic ones that came on some of the vehicles um, I have a set it's kind of cool to have even though um, you know they're not probably as cool as fancy as some of the other ones I just want to show you some different varieties I actually got all these from Jerry Dixie with Classic Automobilia he helps me with all my prestige mini motor stuff really 
Um, I have snagged a few items here and there that weren't from him, but it's pretty rare. And to get all this, I'm very grateful to him. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying your day, enjoying the video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome back. Before we get everything all tightened up and the hub cap sewn, I think uh, I want to go ahead and just test the pedal, make sure everything is connecting and I'm getting function, and then we can go from there. So let's give it a test run real fast. See if I can get them stacked and we'll keep going. Well, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I've got most of the wiring harness kind of where it's going to be, um, and then I've got that rubber piece added into the gas pedal, um, and so it should be able to just press and run the vehicle now. So let's give it a run. Oh, yeah. Another battery just to see if we can get one with a little bit more power I don't want to give too much to the motor everything's running I don't hear any scraping and grinding none of my screws everything's staying in place um, so I'm just gonna finish getting that pedal in um, and then we can work on getting the body and things back onto it and then we'll be adding to the body I've also got some vinyl wrap that we'll be covering some of that sticker with hopefully that works out well i've never never done the wrap before so anyways i hope you guys are enjoying the video thanks for tuning in well, welcome back got the hubcaps on that we picked out they look really really good got a little bit more polishing to do did get that pedal finished bolted in which looks really nice most of the wiring harness is put in got the plug-in mounted back on so this is what will plug in to charge the battery um, most of them have a different plug-in uh, which is kind of unique and we've probably shown that in other videos um, so they will not fit this one so i'll probably have to get a different plug-in for this one um, but rims, tires, all of the frame is looking really good. Everything's coming together nicely. Um, so definitely thanks for tuning in. If you haven't yet, like, comment, subscribe. Um, let us know how we're doing. And as always, thanks for watching.